Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We saw a reversal in the market today, which also illustrated some very powerful trade setups. The Dow, after a little hanging man Harami a couple days ago, today opened lower and traded lower into the end of the day. This kind of illustrates how we can get some very accurate trend analysis uh, based upon this information. Now, does the Dow alone show that there's been a market reversal? Not necessarily, but in approximately 15 seconds, you can easily analyze what's happened in the NASDAQ where we saw a doji and then a failure with a close below the T-line pretty much telling us that there's a trend channel likely to send things down lower and a close below the T-line gives us good probabilities that we're stuck in this sideways trend, at least with the uh, prospects right now that things are heading lower. But then if you add the S&P 500 that did a doji and now trading back below the T-line, basically a failure at a level that everybody else is watching, the 200-day moving average, stochastics rolling over. You add all this together, and obviously it can be assumed the bears are now taking control. But with that information, it allows us to take advantage of the most powerful uh, trade setups. First of all, we know the kicker signal is the strongest of the candlestick signals. As we saw in Moder uh, um, Modern, uh, Moderna, the kicker signal closing above the T-line started a very strong uptrend. And we can use that same information on the bearish side. We recommended shorting PYCR based upon the fact that they gapped this down below the previous day's open did a doji, told us that if they open this lower, the doji rule said it was probably going to be trading lower. That is an extremely high probability trade setup. We saw the same thing in D-Dog. They gapped down and did a doji right on the T-line. Now, the doji rule said if they, it's going to open in the direction how they, or it's going to trade in the direction how they open, now you've got a bearish uh, signal because they opened lower. And we call this the bearish flutter kicker signal because if you took out this little flutter, you've got a bearish kicker signal. This gap down becomes your alert that there's a change of investor sentiment. Why is this more beneficial? Well, on a kicker signal, you want to try to move fast and get into the trade as it's gap down and developing. Whereas on a flutter kicker signal, if you notice or scan that night and say, oh, there's a gap down doji, now you can be prepared. Which means if you see the markets trading lower and the stock trading lower, you can take advantage of that move. Or Whirlpool, not being a highly active price mover because it's an institutional trader makes it very simple that you get your strategy set up. But if this opened lower tomorrow, you might do a spread. A 140, 135, I think was selling for a dollar sixty. Meaning over the next week and a half, if it came down into this area, which it likely could, at dollar sixty now turns into a $5 uh, move. So anytime you see this gap down, you can get ready to short it. And this is in CRM, this is kind of your double bearish flutter kicker. And what was your additional confirmation? They sold right through the last support level, implying this could have a lot more downside. So we, uh, are going to be doing a training session. Our 
the candlestick forum training is basically showing people what the high probability trade setup. So we know a J hook pattern is a good profitable trade. Wave one and wave three are usually the same. But there's a couple elements of the J hook pattern that improves the probabilities you're in a strong trade, such as our recommendation on GRWG was based upon a bullish engulfing right off the 200 day moving average. Positive trading told us we were setting up into a J hook pattern, which we know has a high probability of a price move the same as this. So this is not rocket science. This is just taking the pieces of evidence that the Japanese rice traders have illustrated to us for hundreds of years of what normal human price moves do. Same thing on the opposite of a fry pan bottom is your dumpling top. That slow rolling over of investor sentiment below the T line. And where does it accelerate? Where everybody else could be watching that if this starts trading below the 200 support, that's when the panic selling sets in. So we're going to be demonstrating on December 10th, this Saturday, starting at 10 a.m., we're going to do a mini spotlight training, which means it usually lasts for an hour. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, but usually they will go for two hours because we've got a lot of information to convey. And this provides high probability trade setups. So, um, Join us this Saturday in the uh, training session. We'll see you there.